Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an IP spoofer in C Sharp for Black Ops 2. So, what you want to do first is add um, two references. That's xdevkit and grpc. I'll leave a link in the um, description. So once you've added those, you want to double click the form and on the edge put using xdevkit using this shit using jrpc client then on top of public form 1 you want to put i xbox console g tag and then you want to grab a button with this resize yeah you want to get a button and make it say spoof IP then you can add then you need to add four text boxes um really small about that size I'll make them bigger than that actually about that size And you want to line them up evenly, so it looks okay, but I'm rushing it, yours will look better. They're not even level, but I don't care. Then, that's about it, then you just want to put a random IP, just put 0000 as default. And you want to double click spoof um, IP then in the bottom one that click um, you want to put byte buffer equals new byte and you want to put the Open and close, and you want to put convert dot two byte. Then text box one dot. Oh wait, my bad. Text box one dot text. Um, wait, let me check. What? Yeah, you want to make sure they're in order so it works. Um, so yes, it goes one, two, three, four. As you go from left to right, and it just then after that, you want a comma space. Convert dot two byte text box two dot text then do the same again convert dot two byte um text box three dot text Next and con convert dot to byte text box for dot text and then wait got the bracket. space oh yeah I didn't put a bracket there uh, then you want to put a jrpc dot right byte then j 
Secretary tag, comma, space. Then you want to put the offset. Um, you can just copy what I'm doing. So it's three, two, four, one, three, seven, eight, zero, sixteen. U. I believe. Then you want to comma space buffer. And that's pretty much how you sp let's put a message box dot show. So guess fully spoofed your two IP. And that's basically how you spoof IP. Obviously you'll have to put a connector button to connect to the console. Like, I don't know. And call it, I don't know. Connect. <laughs> and, you know, just do the regular. If. Or J tag. then you should be good and yeah guys that's how you spoof an IP on BO2 in C sharp thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video later